back of my video. <laughs> um, so I made it to San Francisco. That's my first flight. And next flight to Boston leaves in about half an hour. So uh, first flight went okay. It was only like an hour from LA. And now I'm gonna eat my croissant and drink my coffee. They gave us these things called Stroop waffles on the plane, which were these little like crispy waffle things from the Netherlands apparently, and they had like caramel in them, and they were amazing. And I'm gonna order like a thousand of them when I get home off of Amazon. So that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna drink my coffee. So I just landed, um, just got to my hotel, and I've got about 15 minutes before I have to go to a dinner. Uh, there's a like Blizzard Overwatch thing that. I got invited to, so uh, that's supposed to start at 6, and it's 5.45, so I gotta hustle. <laughs> so it's day one of the convention, and I am currently at the hotel waiting for a car to show up. Apparently Blizzard has some kind of special Uber cars that they have decked out for Overwatch for the convention, and Corsair wanted to shoot a little segment, so I'm waiting for that. Uh, it's about 8.30 a.m., which is like 5.30 for me. It is super early. Um, everyone here in Boston is like in a super hurry, except for the baristas. It took me forever to get my coffee this morning, which is crazy. Uh, and today is gonna be, I think, my busiest day. So every day after today will be a little bit more relaxed, but today is just gonna be crazy. I've got a lot of things that are even overlapping that I'm gonna have to run back from you know, the 2K booth back to the Twitch booth and, and back and forth, so it's gonna be kind of a crazy day. But I'm excited to kind of get through today and then have tomorrow and Sunday be a lot more relaxed. Yesterday was crazy too. I mean, I, I got off my plane and I immediately went to the hotel and then immediately went to the Blizzard Overwatch, kind of, they had like this hangout type thing and it was really nice. I got to see um, JP was there and Sam and Dodger were both there, and I got to talk to Dodger a lot, which was really nice, because she's a super sweetheart. And uh, Lyric was there, and there were a bunch of like YouTubers, like Jesse Cox was there. So um, that was really nice, but I also had like a crazy headache from being on the plane all day and not eating any actual food for like an entire day. So I went home pretty early, and I think I got like 12 hours of sleep last night, because I just was exhausted. Um, actually, that's a lie. I went to sleep at 10, woke up at 7. I don't know how many hours that is. I can't do math. Um, so, <laughs> so the car's gonna show up and we're gonna shoot a little segment. And then I have to run over to the convention hall because I don't even have my badge yet. And I'm supposed to be at the 2K booth like right away first thing in the morning. So uh, day one, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got all the three of us. We're all videoing. We're esports. We're vloggers now. I'm not vlogging yourself. That's not vlogging. Oh. You have to vlog selfie. Yourself. Selfie? Oh god. I don't know what I just See, did. See, I can't use that. What did I do? It's so zoomed in. What did I do? No, I zoomed in it on it. <laughs> <laughs> such a slow thing. Uh, please get away from my face. <laughs> see? See? But see, We're, okay. But I'm look how close you. your camera is yeah. to yours. And, and like yours is like a wider so lens. Far. Yeah. yeah. I need a wider lens. Yours is fancy. Yeah. I mean, it, yours looks really nice. Mine is like, hello. You can see the whole room in like fisheye. You can Anything. see part of the room in regular eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the worst vlog ever. <laughs> See if I can get uh, Overwatch pre-installed and uh, and the Twitch party tonight. I gotta get back to my hotel and um, change my clothes and run over there. So we'll see how it goes. Convention's over. I have about 20 minutes before the party starts. So I'm watching MMA in my hotel room and eating fish and chips. Look how amazing that looks. Oh my god. So I definitely ended up not taking my camera with me to the the Twitch party, which I was actually really glad that I didn't bring it just because. Um, I hate feeling like I'm spending too much time, you know, taking photos of things and like trying to video this and video that and whatever, rather than just experiencing the party for what it was, you know, and just like having those memories and, and not like being behind the camera. Um, you know, we spent so much time doing camera stuff that it was kind of nice to just have a night to just talk to people. And I had a really good time. Uh, it was really fun. You know, it was like always these parties you go to every year, you know, or like multiple times a year because they have them at every single con and this year was the first time or this convention sorry was the first time that they didn't have general admission at all so it was just for partners and like developers and industry people and like twitch people so it like that kind of sucks like they if you watch the drop frames panel at all they kind of addressed it somebody asked about it and it's like it sucks that not everyone can be a part of it but it's kind of like how much are you really a part of this party if there's multiple, like, just, like, thousands of people and you can't actually have any good conversations with anyone, you know, because you're just trying to, like, squeeze past everyone, like, sardines in a can and, you know, and I talked to a couple of the Twitch people and they're like, it's just simply, you know, about numbers, like, we can only afford this much and we can only, you know, do so much to um, accommodate, you know, all of our partners and there's so many partners who want to come to these parties that for them to even get to talk to any of the other partners, you know, they, we kind of have to like limit the number of people who can go to the party. So this, uh, this con was the first time that they ever did just partners and devs and it was kind of nice. And it's always like, you know, you get to see a lot of the same people and I feel like it's really 
like I'm starting to reach the point where I'm seeing the same people a lot and really feel like I'm trying to make an effort to strengthen those relationships with people. You know, I got to talk to Dodger a lot yesterday and today, which was like really great because she's like the most sweet person and I just like adore her. So it's like really cool to actually get to feel like we're becoming better friends and the same with like Aurelian and I got to talk to Adam Coble a lot and like it was just like really nice to actually have these conversations so like you're like meeting people for the first time you know like um Shorty and Disco were there this is their first time going to convention uh I you know love both of them on the Twitch you know I like watch Shorty's stream or I'll talk to Disco and like lyrics chat and stuff but it was the first time actually meeting them so you're you know you're like making new friends but at the same time really just strengthening the bonds with people that you're seeing all the time and it's just such a good experience and i absolutely love it so i am back at my hotel now it's i think like 1 a.m um actually let's look at the clock oh uh, yeah it's 12:40. okay so it's 12:40. i have to be up at like 7 30 ish uh, I'm going to be streaming Battleborn tomorrow morning again, and I like to kind of get an early start so that I'm not spending too much time just, uh, you know, I don't, I don't I don't like having to rush in the morning to get there because, like, I need my coffee, you know? So uh, I'm going to get to bed pretty soon here, and that's it for day one. Officially, day one is over after I get ready for bed, and then I'm going to go to sleep, and that's going to be awesome. Alright, so it is day two of the convention. Uh, yesterday I had stopped by the Corsair booth and installed Overwatch on one of their PCs so that I could just sit here on the sofa, which I'm sitting on currently, and play Overwatch on their giant TV. So there's the system that I installed this on and I <laughs> opened up my account and they've got this lapdog thing here now, which it's like basically you put the keyboard uh, into this like metal housing and it's got the mouse pad is connected to it. So this is all like one unit um, and that's connected to the Bulldog. And so I can sit on the sofa over here, but play off of an actual like legitimate PC rig from the sofa. So that is what I'm gonna be doing with any spare time that I have today. Day two, here we go. So one of these assholes, I don't know which one yet, but I'm gonna figure it out when I do, they're gonna regret it, has been giving people cards and they've been handing them to me and they all say Team Empire and now I'm pissed off because I'm just collecting them. I'm not actually that, but it's, uh, it's getting kind of a dire situation here. This is Donkey Kong after he's just been sent to prison. He's got his prison tattoos now. So I'm done with day two of PAX East and now I'm just kind of chilling outside for a little bit. I had about two hours between my last meeting with Corsair and the dinner that we're going to tonight with, you know, JP and Aurelian and all of them, which I'm really excited about, but I just kind of wanted to sit outside a little bit because I've been spending all my time inside uh, at the convention, just, you know, staring at computer screens and rushing from thing A to thing B and it's kind of nice to just be outdoors. And so I found this like really great little like park thing and there's this whole neighborhood and so I just figured I would chill here for a little bit and uh, you know record a little bit for the vlog. I gotta say that Boston when it's not covered in like three feet of snow is really like actually very beautiful. The architecture here is insanely amazing. Like these houses behind me, uh, we don't really have anything like that in, in California that I've seen. And so I'm just kind of sitting here like every time I drive by them I think our, my Uber drivers think I'm crazy because I'm just like taking all these pictures and like taking video of all the houses and stuff because I've never seen anything really like this. And last time I was here there was just so much snow that I didn't care about any of the, you know, I didn't care about Boston at all because I was just so annoyed with all the snow. But it's actually really nice when there's not a crap ton of snow. Um, so that was really nice. Today was another busy day. I'm still really, really tired. I had to fight myself to get me to come out here and record for the vlog because I really just want to lay down on my hotel bed and take a nap before dinner. But today was, I mean, it was less busy than yesterday, but still I think just the exhaustion from yesterday kind of carried over into today. Into today. I had a really good time at the party last night. I went to sleep pretty early, but I had to wake up pretty early too. And overall, I've been having a really great time. I did my meet and greet today, which was awesome. I got to meet some more people, which was really cool. And tomorrow, all I have left to do is I'm just gonna be, uh, oh, hi. 
<laughs> tomorrow I'm just gonna be, it's my for dog. Um, I'm gonna be, uh, God, what am I doing tomorrow? Oh, I'm streaming at the Intel booth, and that's gonna be from 12 to 2 tomorrow. And then I'll be doing more of the Battleborn stuff. And that'll be it, I think I'm done after that. So I leave really early Monday, I get back really early. Unfortunately not early enough to catch the end of the Overwatch beta, but it'll be back on May 3rd. I just have to keep telling myself that. I'll be back on May 3rd, it'll be fine, it'll be okay. We'll survive. I went over to the Overwatch booth, but I didn't wanna, they didn't have a separate booth for media people to play on. They just like would make you cut the line. But I was like, I felt really bad because I went over there and I realized that and I was like, these people have been waiting in line for like two hours probably and none of them have, they probably haven't like played very much and I've got like over a hundred hours in the game. So like I'll survive if I like don't play for a week, you know, it's not a big deal. I just thought like the Dreadnought booth before at another convention, they had had like a separate area for us to go play the game and uh, Blizzard decided not to do that. So um, I'm gonna play tomorrow at the, the Intel booth and that uh, that's the plan for tomorrow. And that'll be day three, and then we'll be done, and then I get to go home, and it's gonna be great. We're almost done. Hello, it is day three of the con, uh, and I am live from the Intel booth playing some Overwatch, holding on to my last shreds of time with this beautiful game until it's, it's offline for about a week. Uh, luckily, we have the Dreadnought beta. I've never hated anything so much as I hate being awake right now. Hi. <sighs> Hi. Hi, Rhea. Hi. So I'm finally home. I've been traveling all day. I feel like shit. I look like shit, I'm sure. Uh, I woke up and left Boston this morning around, like, well, I left my hotel around five. And my flight left Boston at about 7.30 this morning, Boston time, so Eastern Standard. And that's, I think, about 4.30 California time, which is um, way too early <laughs> to be awake. So I was on planes pretty much all day from Boston to Denver and then Denver home. And uh, the flights were good. It was just, I think, you know, after being at the con for three days and all the traveling that I've been doing, I now finally actually do feel sick. So I'm pretty sure I got Pax Pox. Um, I it pretty much immediately, my mom picked me up from the airport and uh, we went and got food and then I came home and just passed out. 
and I went up there after I woke up. I went up to my mom's house and picked up Rhea. And now I'm gonna spend the rest of the night putting everything away. And I think I'm just gonna eat some soup and crash because I really don't feel well. And I'm gonna hopefully mitigate this illness before it gets any worse. But overall, I had a really great time. It was really good seeing everyone. I think that I kind of tried to do too much. It was, you know, with all the streaming and everything that I was doing, I think I kind of overbooked myself a little bit. So next con, I probably will try to do a little bit less than I did this time. But I had a really good time. It was really, really nice seeing everyone and especially, you know, uh, JP and uh, Aurelian and Dodger and Sam. And um, I feel like I got to hang out with Zeke a little bit more and, and Tyler, Tino's. So there were just, there were so many people. And it was really great to see everybody. And um, yeah, so overall, really good PAX East. Bummer that I am now ill but it's good to be home. And now I'm probably gonna try and figure out if I can set up modded Skyrim, see if I can play some of that on stream soon. So that's it for PAX East 2016. Are you happy no. I'm home? Huh? Are you happy? Are you happy I'm home? <laughs> Okay, you can have a treat. Ah, she doesn't actually care if I'm home. She just wanted the food.